say it again. I'm gonna stress this point, and I'm gonna stress it, and I'm gonna stress it. Rich people in this market, you get your money from your from the consumer. Y'all is oppressing the poor to get rich off the poor. Well, if the poor ain't got no goddamn money to spend, well, that's why y'all picking on. If the poor ain't got no goddamn money to spend, well, you picking on you picking on the the middle class. Y'all, y'all charge. Y'all, 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 y'all picking on them. Y'all go to where. You know, you find job markets, this is that and the third. Instead of forcing goddamn job markets, because I see, I see this shit, and this consumerism market, y'all forcing, y'all will develop a product and then force it on these people and tell them it's in their best interest to buy this goddamn product. You will convince them it's in their best interest. And God told me, if you ain't forcing it on nobody, if you can convince somebody it's in their best interest to buy that product, ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with it. But, the one thing God revealed to me, the way this consumerism market is working, they started off poor. And you didn't need that much. You didn't have that much money to buy that much. But because of this new consumerism market, the poor need more money to keep up with the standard of living, to buy more shit. Well, what that tells me is, is that it's a very careful, like, like the poor have more shit. So they, have, they obviously have more income to buy more shit. They have more income. Somebody is controlling the income to where they ensure that the poor have more income to buy more shit. Well, hey, Mr. Rich Man, wouldn't it be in your best interest since that system obviously motherfucking works? The light at the top. Nigga, what if the goddamn light threw some money down and then let the shit grow? Goddamn, start planting money and let the shit grow. Let the shit grow. But by the way, at the same time, how is currency, how is currency, how is currency, yet again, you use money to buy some shit you want, right? So what's more valuable, the money or the shit you want? The shit you want. That's why you use your money to buy the shit you want, because the shit you want is more valuable than the goddamn money. Like this beer I just bought. At a dollar seventy, I, I it cost a dollar seventy two. So to me, this beer is worth at least more than a dollar seventy two. Is uh, at least that. That is how much it's worth to me. Now if this beer costs three dollars. That beer was worth three dollars to me. The way we define currency is all fucked up. So is this a dollar seventy-two beer, a three-dollar beer, five-dollar beer? Well, how much is it worth to me? That's why you got black folks use two hundred dollars and the white folks use a hundred dollars. How much is it worth to you? How much is it worth to you? Ain't shit worth. I don't give a good goddamn about a price tag. Ain't shit worth for what it's worth to you. Ain't shit worth for what it's worth to you. Ain't shit worth for what it's worth to you. Rich people, y'all going to buy shit the wrong way. Y'all just want riches, 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 money, 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 riches. You you got to redefine the way you see wealth. Job, oh my, look at look at Job. Job is one of the richest men. God told me top five still to this day, still to this day. Look at how I mean they had they had wealth in me. I mean they had and it, and it was asset based. But yet again, at the same goddamn time, if you just if you just got a bunch of assets, I mean, hey, I got a summer home in Dubai. I got one down in South Beach. I got some out in L.A. Nigga, you can only be at one place at one goddamn time. You can only be at one place at one goddamn time. You can only be in one place at one goddamn time. People get rich and just blow their money on shit that, 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 it ain't even, I mean, really, you just get rich and blow your money on some shit. Yeah, hey, ain't no wrong with splurging on that goddamn, on that phantom, bro. Ain't no wrong with that. If you like that phantom, that phantom make you feel good. But you gotta remember. If you're trying to appease a sick heart with riches, it's in your personal best interest to first address the sick heart. And then after that, it's, hey, it's all, it's all, I mean, it's all uphill from there. But address the sick heart first. Observe yourself and say, nigga, my heart's sick. And I'm sitting here living my whole life trying to appease the sick heart. That's what Satan do. He make your heart sick. That's how he, you can't enjoy your riches. He make your heart sick. And he send you the wrong goddamn way. He he make your heart sick and send you the wrong goddamn way. He make your heart sick and send you the wrong goddamn way. And you out here trying to appease your you trying to appease your sick heart is what you trying to do, Illuminati. You trying to appease your sick heart. Give your heart to God. Let Him fix your goddamn heart, and then go from there. We gotta re, we gotta redefine. And by the way, yet again, I'm gonna keep stressing this. 
Until I, and I'm gonna stress this till it's goddamn stressed out. The more money the poor got, the more money you can make off the goddamn poor. The more money the poor got to spend, the more money the poor gonna goddamn spend. If you just hoarding goddamn money, you just got a bunch of goddamn paperweights. But what about the power? That's goddamn. That's the shit that Satan do. Power. What about the power? It's a mirage. It's a mirage. God got the power. Jesus got the power. It's a mirage. <laughs> Especially when God and Jesus are making the goddamn point. It's a mirage. At the end of the day, all you're trying to do is appease your sick heart, Illuminati. That's why you lust after power. you trying to appease your sick heart. Your heart is sick, and you're trying to appease it. Satan made our heart sick. Well, fuck Satan. The love of God can fix your heart. The love of God can fix your heart. America got a greed problem. So, 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 yet again, all you, all you ever paying for is a sensation. That's why, well, you like the cherry soda more than the grape soda. If you get the cherry soda, why you get the cherry soda? Because you enjoy the sensation that you get from drinking the cherry goddamn soda. More than you like the sensation that you that, that you get from drinking the goddamn grape soda. You're paying for sensations. You're just paying for sensations. Is all you're paying for. Now that you know that, you can roll with it. But I'm just letting you know you're just paying for sensations. Is all you're paying for. It's sensations. I addressed that a while back. That's why I, I, I like being poor. Now, I, 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 money, money, but yet again, I know the, I got the wisdom, well, I, I, God gave me the wisdom to show her strength. God gave me the wisdom to show her strength. But I realized early on, nigga, I'm just paying for sensations. You're just paying for sensations. That's all you're paying for, it's sensations. And I'm pretty sure that's why it's sensations. Well, that's, that's fuck Satan and stupid shit. Don't, don't, don't get to looking at that. You get to looking at that like lovely, oh, lovely. I mean, it's just literally Satan putting dumb shit places. It's just stupid shit. Don't don't look at that because it's retorted. As a matter of fact, maybe look at that and realize, wow. I mean, the shit that the shit that made Hell's Angels think Satan was the goat. They see now and it's like, yeah, that shit was retorted. And a lot of the shit he didn't even do. It just was a coincidence. He claimed it, so I did that shit on purpose. It's like, nigga, 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 no. Rich people, if you take care of the poor, the poor are going to take care of you, but you got to walk in your integrity. Because if, you if you earn your living offline, you're making deceptive wages. Especially when the, when, when, when the poor find out you're lying, they're just gonna take, they're gonna tell you to fuck you. I'm going to keep my goddamn money and take it somewhere else. Consumers are, are suppliers. You got to keep your goddamn consumers happy. Treat your consumers like your consumers is the one that pay that pay your goddamn bills. But no, well, I'm just gonna tell you this: the Lord about to move in America. Submit to God, or you'll be smacked. Rich people, God can make you America, America, da, 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 da. And, and, nigga. You ain't never been rich. Bill Gates, you ain't never been rich. What the fuck you need all that money for? Now, yet again, King Solomon, still the richest man to ever live to this day. To this day, Mr. Bill Gates. I know you got all that to this day, Bill Gates. Solomon, King Solomon is still the richest man to ever live to this very day. As soon as I get as soon as I get Laura Law, Kelsey Monroe, Piper Perry, Elsa Jean, and Jess Rhodes. Bill Gates, you can sit down on the goddamn ground. I don't give a good goddamn how much money you got. I'd be the richest man. Because what, 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 what is valuable to you? The women I love is way more valuable, valuable to me than money. That's just how God built me. That's just how God built me. Way more valuable. Elsa Jean, way more. Fuck money. Fuck money. I don't give a fuck about money. I get money for y'all. I get money for y'all, but I do just fine. God provides me my every need. I do just fine without no money. I don't need it. It's nice to have, but God provides for me, so I'm taken care of, so I'm good to go. I'm good to go.